second and third graders, we're gonna draw some rural landscapes today. We're going to include some foreground, middle ground, and background. So I'd like you to start off, we're gonna start off with pencil, and I'm gonna draw out a few lines, probably um, four lines would be good. So this is gonna be my first line, it's the biggest amount of space. Then I'm gonna do another line that is gonna be a little bit less space, so that's one, two. Then this one's gonna be a little bit closer. And then I'm gonna add a fourth line. This one I wanna do mountains on it. Um, so I'm gonna make this one a little bit more pointed. You definitely do not have to do mountains. We're gonna do, so I've got four lines. Once I have four lines on here, then I'm gonna think about adding some things that are bigger, that are closer. And if I were to draw, for example, a tree right here, it can go right over the lines, but we're gonna remember to erase the line if there's a line in the way. So it looks like the tree would be on top of the line. Once I have that, if I do have like some leaves that I want to put on it. And most of the ideas that I'm doing today are going to be things that I've observed, that, I'm, that I've seen, so that it looks a little bit more realistic. So using my eyes to make it look real. So if there's lines on top of it, then just erase them. And then we're going to put color on it anyway, so if there's still some lines. Um, I'm going to put um, some lines on here to show a little bit of bark on this tree. And so these things that are a little bit bigger are, are going to be in the foreground. So if it's a, near you, it's going to be the biggest amount of space. After that, if I do want to add any details like zigzag lines for grass, you could do that. Um, one other thing is on these lines, I usually will put something. So if I wanted to do something like a barn, because it's a farm, this is going to be a medium sized thing because this is a big thing. This is going to be a medium size because it's middle ground. And I'm going to do a little bit of detail. I'm going to put maybe a silo or something next to it. Once I have some details here, if I wanted to have a road that's leading up to it, which I think is kind of a cool idea, you can have a line like this is if this is a road, this is going to start off big. Then it's going to maybe be more medium, so you can see it's inside that line. And then if I wanted to have it go way off into the background, it could go into small. So these lines that could be on this dirt road could be bigger. These ones could be medium, and these ones could be tiny, okay? Um, I often like to do things like a fence, so I could have details here that could be fence posts and then connect those fence posts to together with, maybe I'm gonna make this a little bit taller, we'll put a top on these. Um, I'm gonna have this one run right off the edge. And I'll also like to separate some of these background spaces. If I do this, then these lines can separate different types of fields. So maybe this is gonna be a corn field, this is gonna be um, a crop that could be um, green still, so I can have different um, colors. Maybe this is gonna be a golden color, this is gonna be a green color, then it's not all gonna end up being the same thing. Um, I'm gonna put some zigzag lines over here. We'll put a couple of lines over here too to have this field be made out of something else. Um, we'll put a few more zigzag lines in here. So I'm thinking about different ideas and details if you wanted to add any flowers or additional things feel free um, I'm gonna put some snow up on these mountains and I'm gonna put a few smaller hills underneath that so just thinking about things that I've seen maybe in real life or maybe in a book or um, uh, artwork that I've seen and I'll put some pictures up if you have um, something that is big 
and then you have some in, in the foreground, you have something that is medium in the middle ground, and then I've got something small like these little snow caps in the background, then that'll help you have foreground, middle ground, and background. So please have something that is big, something that might be medium like this fence and this barn, and something that's small like these uh, snow caps or maybe um, like smaller little details of like wheat or corn or something growing back there. Then I would like you to think about your sky too. So maybe I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna put a cloud in here and then I'm gonna have a sun that's behind it and we'll put a couple of clouds that are behind here too. If you get done drawing out your ideas, I will, I'm gonna put a little bit of wind in here. Then I can give you a marker and I'll give everybody their own clean marker um, and then I'll collect them later and sanitize them. Um, I would like you to outline any of your lines. And please remember that if you have um, one of these lines here that it stops when it gets to the tree and then it doesn't go over top of the tree because then it would cover up your detail. And I often, I've already said this, but connecting things to your to one of these four lines so you can see the fence is connected to this curvy line or the barn here is connected to that second curvy line once you're done tracing all of your lines I'm not going to do all of that right now so you have more work time but if you're done tracing every line that you've made, then please use your eraser. And I would like you to erase any of that remaining pencil. So like this line I missed right there. So then I can just take my eraser and I can erase out any of that pencil. If you have a bigger eraser that's not on your pencil, that would probably be a better eraser to use so you don't just wear out all your pencil eraser. But if you get done early, please erase that out. And then we'll work on coloring it next time.